It could be called a modern day miracle. Watch as this little boy hears his father's voice for the first time. Hi, Grayson. Talk to him, Daddy. Daddy loves you. Daddy <laughs> loves you. Daddy. Yes, here. Can you hear Daddy? Before this moment, Grayson Clamp had never heard a sound. That's you. <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> Grayson was born without the auditory nerves that carry sound from the inner ear to the brain. Initially, he was fitted with a cochlear implant, but without nerves, it was ineffective. Bird, bird. That's when doctors at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine gave him this. It's an auditory brainstem implant. The device is typically used in adults whose nerves have been damaged and hadn't yet been approved for use in children. But that changed thanks to an FDA-approved trial. And Grayson became the first child in the country to undergo the procedure. We don't really know exactly what it's like for him. We don't know exactly what he hears, if he hears everything we hear, some of what we hear. Doctors are confident Grayson will eventually hear and speak like any other child. His parents say he's already made great progress, although they won't soon forget what that first moment was like. Time now. Hi, Grayson. Talk to him, Daddy. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Daddy. Yes, here. Oh, that, his believe. face, it gets you every time. I mean, you doctors may not, may not like to use the word miracle, but it truly seems like a medical miracle. How does this work? Yeah, it, it's, it's, quite, it's quite remarkable. Dr. Craig Buckman's one of the doctors along with his team. And I want to show you because this type of technology has been around for a little while. They talk about cochlear implants. This is actually a, a implant that goes directly to the brain stem. That's wow. what's so remarkable. There's, not, there's no connections essentially between the outside world and his brain stem. So doctors had to essentially recreate that. Let me just show you. I, I don't know how much you'd be able to tell from this brain model. But uh, essentially, there was an implant on the outside. You sort of see a, a uh, essentially a microphone. It takes sound. It sort of distills it down, and then it implants it right there. That's called the cochlear nucleus. You don't need to remember that, but that's the place where the sound goes in the brain, and then sort of is taken all over where, where someone can actually take that sound and make sense of it in some way. So th that's essentially what happens. It's been around for adults for some time, oh, it has. but never before for a child. Mm -hmm. I find it when we, I think we all were just taken by that moment when he hears that yeah. sound. It's hard to imagine what he is experiencing right. because he doesn't know words in the same way that you and I know words. That's right. And, and, and we don't know exactly what, what he's able to hear. We know that he can listen to sounds specifically now. But it, it happens pretty quickly, Michaela, in terms of his ability to now take this, this new... Too. Yes. <laughs> and actually you see his speech patterns change in response to being able to hear. So it, is, it, it gives me a little bit of goosebumps here, but, but it give, it's, it's quite extraordinary to think at this age how much it's going to make a difference in his life. How do you teach